Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Welcome. Good morning, folks. Hope y'all are doing well. And staying safe and staying cozy. On this, what day is it? Wednesday? Wednesday morning? I was going to say evening. It's not evening. It's morning. So you know what was a really good sign? The second that I opened up control, OBS was like, In the encoding is too high. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> it's not a great sign. Uh, last time we played this, the video game absolutely shit itself. Uh, for some reason. But uh, hopefully that won't happen this time because I've reinstalled my graphics card. Uh, and maybe that was a problem. No, full screen, please. Full screen. <clears throat> what was the story last time on Control? Uh, we went down an elevator. And Alan Wake was writing. That's what it was last time on Control. And things are weird here. Also, I'm not wearing headphones because me, he me here wit. I'm not sure how this is going to affect your viewer experience, but we're going to change to speakers. Yeah, we tried to go in there and the video game was like, no. story last time on Control, and all previous times on Control, can be described as follows. Shit's weird. Of course, the hiss are already in here. Watching would spoil the heck out of the DLC now. Okay. We're in the very beginning of the DLC, <clears throat> for the record. <sighs> uh, we're in the, 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 the second DLC. We finished the foundation and uh, we are now in AWE. What could that stand for? Altered World Event? I think it stands for Alan Wake Escape. Carbon Arrest. Uh, Hartman Emil, ooh, victim names, Wake, Allen, Anderson, Tor, Anderson, Odin, uh, Lane Rudolph, DeSole, Wendy, Emerson, Thomas, Dennis, Special Agent, Remy, code four, kidnapping and altered individuals, one count, uh, code eight, sanctions against altered organizations, one count, code 37, obstruction of bureau investigation, code 74, breaching the Ash Act, six counts. The offender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjecture with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by Bureau of Researchers, all victims have been released. By annual surveillance, orders were assigned to each except the Anderson brothers due to their senility and Wake possibly deceased. No one knows what's going on with that Wake guy. Hmm... Anyway, how's everybody doing this morning? Hope y'all are okay. I got carried to the wind. Nice. Congrats. Anyway, keep me posted on audio and video and stuff. All those good things. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting that to work. What? <clears throat> you are an acceptable amount of grumpy. What acceptable amount is the grumpiness? Uh, evade cost after weapon kills. No thanks, I'm good. 
I'm at work. I lurk, but hello. Hello, Linda. Hope work is okay to you. Hmm. I'm pretty jazzed that we knocked down a wall. Whoa. Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. What? Okay. Can I not? We cannot. Foot gossip. Hello, my feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. Okay. Got it. Thank you for the update. This darkness is blocking the door, so now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Yes, so. Guess so. Yeah, I uploaded a uh, holiday emotes. Aim a powerful light source at the darkness to destroy it. Oh. Interesting. Yo. Light burns it away, huh? Cool. Makes sense. I like that. It's a fun little, fun little thing. Also, y'all ever eat some Cheerios and then feel a little sick? Cause that's me right now. I feel just a little bit sick. Whoa! It's the Alan Wake mechanic, it is! Yeah, and we don't have a flashlight. We don't have time for flashlights. We're too busy running a bureau. Normal Cheerios? Honey Nut Cheerios. Maybe I'm allergic to honey. Or something. Is that even possible? Who knows? I mean, it's probably not natural honey anyway, so don't know why I'm worried. Having a normal flashlight would likely save time? Yeah, but then you need batteries and fuck that. Um, I missed that, but there was something rather tall and lanky lumbering over there. Hang on a sec. <clears throat> now you want churros. Churros are different. I think... Construct Surge. <gasps> oh. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a giant flashbang gun. Any allergies are a thing? Mm. Maybe it has to do with the milk. I don't know. This is a really cool way to work in the flashlight mechanic into this game's mechanics. I really like it, actually. I think it's super cool. Okay. <clears throat> the third thing, the sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. Uh? No. No, don't write that. No, don't. Please. Man, it's dark. 
my understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. Uh -huh. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even... Hmm. With Wake now secure in my lodge, oh. I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Okay, bye, Hartman. <clears throat> hey, y'all. Hey, little birdie. Hey, the end. Hey, T-S-C-T-H. Hey, folks. Hey, Nioletta. Hey, everyone. Hope y'all are doing well. Examination of Paranatural Entities, The Shadow. Paranatural Entity A010, aka The Shadow, is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. Localized manifestation of sentient blank capable of occupying organic and inorganic materials as well as exerting blank over its surroundings. <laughs> Shaded individuals, human bodies, blank by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive but do seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Shaded objects similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are blank solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE-35, which may imply a shared link to uh, blank intelligence. Threat is The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources some internally powered to prepare for the eventuality of an attack, I guess. How is Sir Viz? I have not been knighted by the queen, but I'm good. Or is that Sir with an E? I'm not sure. Eagle. The Eagle Limited. A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties. Jesus. The numerous injuries were suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Blank. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. The Bureau had been uh, tracking said group at the time and said, and the intel gathered suggested uh, an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team was on site. Team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence they arrived to find emergency processes underway but also equipment left behind by the suspected group a suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact further investigations of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered the individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies for 50 dollars you can buy land in scotland and make yourself a lady lord yeah my sister was actually talking about that recently I was thinking about getting it for my mom. But my mom does not seem like the type to care <laughs> about being called a, a lady or a lord. That's just my take. Chunk. A heli. Oh, no. Oh! You guys are new. Blow 
Loading men with guns, huh? Interesting one. Ow. Oh. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear my speakers in the background of my microphone, by the way. Might be a thing that's... Um... We got mimics. We got something. No, I'm sorry. That thing was floating... Or free floating around. Don't hear any echoes? Okay. Well, snowy emotes, yeah. They're not great. I'm still not, like, sold on them, but I think they turned out okay. Interrogation complaint. Kirkland. So you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do my job? Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal. is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, I've heard in my life. And I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. The weed number. Emotes are great. I love them. Aw, oh, thanks, Haley. Wait, what? Didn't Rabbit do that Lord thing for funsies? That doesn't surprise me. Uh, I have no idea. Hmm. This entity, his corrupted ranger, airborne. The group of his corrupted rangers has manifested the ability to levitate similarly to his elevated agents. However, these airborne, his rangers, display no tail kinetic abilities and simply continue to use mundane bureau weaponry. Being similar to the elevated possibly indicates that his can share permutations of this type, blah, blah, blah. Okay, they float. I got a real loose cannon. Black market. Black Market Hub specialized in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well genuine altered and paranatural items, materials, was raided in blank Czech Republic by a team of specialized investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by sus suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that only, not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they, they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. There's a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of existence among a niche group of the general public. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. The motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. We know a lord. We have connections. I mean, before we knew a lord, we knew an influencer, Linda, which I would argue is more important and a better connection. Day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Most of the detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just... This is normal. Inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how, exactly. I, uh... I think this place is making fun of me. Mm. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. Oh, it stopped. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've, I've seen <laughs> the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think. Wait, shh. There's something. Cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay. 
There we go. You fiber optic fuck. All right. That was faint, but I definitely heard movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. <laughs> the recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'll... What? Hello? I Who's think Fisher there? might be losing it a little bit. Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... Is this recording done, or... Are we done? It didn't stop rotating, and it didn't make a click noise. Wee! Alright, this is our front now. Well, I guess that's that. I don't want to sprint, because I don't want to lose our friend. Oh! This is the little trolley that people... The, the, the teacher would roll in, uh... TVs on. For class. What do we got going on? This looks like an Ati board. Darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody city. Like dark but good for nothing. Whoa. Thanks, Ati. Eh, in here is getting bad. The vents, they are full of mold shit. It's no good for you. Headache. I didn't catch any of that. What did he say? Lads in here have died standing up. Lighten them up. Ah, more plants. Jesse loves right. plants. Let's go make some new friends. Oh, Jesse loves them. That was finished. No, I figured. That's why I was asking what he said. Figured you might know. Uh, incoming damage after seizing. Uh, reload on shield ability kills. Eh, I don't like any of these like trade-off ones. I'm finding me specific to my career path, and it makes me very happy. Oh, nice. Congrats. Hey, my best toast. How you doing? Also, hey, Shadow Mage. Also, hey, Val. What is this? Is this going to be relatable? I'm going to create an environment. This is probably funny. It's such an anti-joke. Uh, I don't feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. Oh shit. My, uh, my ability doesn't last for that. It doesn't like it. How do we feel about, how do I feel about plants? Hmm, okay. Eradicate the mold. Where's that? Okay. One of them is way back there. Maybe these are some future things. Hmm, we can go back. Talk to some plants. We love us some plants. Dang it. <clears throat> That's clearly a sad plant. Shine light on the plants. Oh. I don't have to talk to them. 
which is kind of sad. Where did my light go? Am I going to have one floodlight through this whole DLC? Because that might be a problem. I think I left it in here. There it is. I cannot go to work for you. I'm sorry. I'm not well trained. Or trained even at all. Like a little bit. Not trained a little bit. There you go. Doesn't that feel better? Friends. Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. Saw one the other day on YouTube where it was a reaction video of an entire family screaming with excitement edited to look like they were reacting to smoothing a 3D model and all the guide loops hold up properly first try. That's niche. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, any other plant friends? Mm, this doesn't look like a place where plant friends would be. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's on the other side. Like, on the other side of this, like, blockage. There's a plant that I need to get to. I mean, I can try shining it on these guys. No, they don't count. You just wanted to share your joy. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you're enjoying your niche memes. It must be a fun feeling. Have to go. See you, little birdie. Thanks for hanging. I appreciate you. Can I blow that up? Hang on. Uh. Okay, be on the lookout for large green pustules. Look, a large green pustule. Nice. Look at me. What is powering that light? Shush. Don't ask questions. This light has quite the skeleton. I guess that was a compliment? I'm not sure. There a plant back here waiting to be made happy? Mm, I don't see a plant. Well, there's got to be other plants around. Hmm. Same thing that powers the cubes, but less of it. I mean, the light is also floating in the air free floating in the air so like maybe we should not worry about what is or isn't powering it hey plant yeah oh Jesse had nothing nice to say to that plant or plant He 
Electricity is not magic? I fucking disagree. Electricity is the most fucking magical thing on the planet. If you don't think electricity is magic, you've, you've missed the mark. Does that just happen sometimes? What is that? What are you? Come back. I need to know. I need to know. Cool. Whoa. So many things. They should have, with, with all of these variants, I feel like they should have made your uh, personal mod uh, inventory a little bit bigger, honestly. Feels a little silly to have like so many new variations and not let you have one of each. What about those phone charging pads? Those are definitely magic. Those are for sure magic. Yeah. Yeah. It's all magic. Also, uh, insert magic is just science we don't understand yet. Uh, quote here. So there, haha. -ha. What is this, projectile speed? Yeah, that sucks. Oh wait, that was blast radius, whoops. Inventory management is the worst part of any game it's in? I disagree. There's some games where inventory management is a joy. Uh, like Moonlighter, the whole game is based around inventory management, kind of. Somewhat literally. Because you manage an inventory of a shop. Launch energy cost. Uh, that's worse than the one we have. Uh, and that's per element pickup, and we already have 48. I can't speak to that one. No, depending on the game, like, inventory management sucks. Because it's just a thing that you have to do to be free to do other things that you want to do. Um, but in Moonlighter, it's fun because the entire gimmick is that... A, you're managing a shop inventory, and B, you're managing your inventory... <laughs> ...while you're dungeon diving to optimize, like, how much stuff you can get out. And there's, like, in built-in game mechanics for like things that have to be next to each other or like if this thing is next to this other thing it'll destroy this thing or something when you leave the thing or whatever uh, it's a it's a thing never beat that game i was really close i was on the final area i wish it was just like uh, the the game's combat i wish was just like a little bit a little bit just like the smallest bit more interesting it's super serviceable and actually it's quite good Considering that it's a game about, like, managing a shop. <clears throat> Sounds more like a puzzle game? Uh, no. It's about dungeon delving and then selling your wares for crazy profit. And then upgrading your store. It's fun. No, shush. I don't care about your foundation major targets. I'm looking for plants. <laughs> Oh.
Inventory management, it sounds like a puzzle game. Gotcha. Let's see. Hmm. Lots of plants, but we already shown light on that, and that's where we just came from. I doubt there's a plant in this sh fucking shelter. I'm gonna look. Seems like a waste of good space where there could be a plant. Oh. Chad, what's that one warehouse game where you play as a little block guy that has great inventory management? Well, that whole game is about inventory management, right? You, like, work in a warehouse and it's about sorting stuff. Uh, I think Gam played it at some point. I don't remember what it was called. Oh, right. Maybe I should get rid of the fucking healing orb. The ultimate evil that is the healing ball. Maybe that'll help my cause. Wants warehouse, ye. Thank you, folks. Have a grid based inventory, but don't let you rotate items. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, stuff is like uh, several grid items, like wide or whatever, and it doesn't let you rotate them. I super agree. Man, we cannot fucking find these final plants. Maybe, maybe these final plants are. Our secret plants. You just had. Congrats. I'm really proud of you. And the other one was in here, which you'd think would be the super hidden one. I was in Resident Evil 4 the baller inventory, or was it just five? I have no idea. An amazing idea for a video game. Let us know. Does it have to do with inventory management, per chance? I have only played Resident Evil 2 Remake, and even then, I have barely played any of that. I think I might be giving up on this plant. This plant mission. This is not the content that y'all came here for. <laughs> I don't think. I might be wrong. Wait! I knew I shouldn't give up. I knew this was the content you guys came here for. Lance <laughs> Dido. Very good. He came here for you, me thinks. Hmm. Seems fake. Hey, Mr. Pig. Let me know if you guys see the plant. <sighs> Excuse me. Blech. Blech. Don't yawn on stream. That'll make people think that you're boring. <laughs> mm. 
you get to hang out with proof that there's an afterlife. Well, it depends on what type of afterlife you subscribe to, I guess. Is there a plant in the bathroom? Well, no, but there is this. Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is uh. not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. What? Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Hmm. Thank you for your attention. That's pretty funny. Also horseshit. If there's time dilation and time has passed for you, fuck that. The game is you work at a sci-fi pack you play you have to be that. <sighs> Would you pack items like Tetris? When a set of lines is full, it teleports those out, so you have to make sure items are not cut in half by the teleporting of lines unless the item allows it and other items can't be turned upside down. A whole bunch of other rules. Hmm. Sounds interesting. <laughs> NASA cooperation interview. Following the NASA FPC coordination agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathering during space missions is made available for Bureau research to analysis. Analyze. Jesus. Recently, certain individuals have raised concerns that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs secured by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweigh any spending relation to the, related to the processing and delivery of BlackRock. If from its medium Earth orbit, the blank will provide the Bureau with unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites readers that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining the cooperative relationship with their colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. We're setting up for space stuff. If I was a plant, if I was one final plant, where would I be? This is the rest of the stream. It says it's in the corridor, which means that it would be in the corridor, which is this. And that's the plant, and then there was another plant somewhere, and then that's, that's, that's a plant, and then that's a plant, and then... Oh my god, it's right there. Okay. Noted. <laughs> I attack the darkness. <laughs> okay. We move on. These are hard to spot Gs. Yeah, they were definitely hard to spot when we had to talk to them too. I mean to ask, is there any lore to go with the fast travel stations? Uh, shish. Mmm, I see. Got it. So we are slowly drained of energy if and when we are outside of light. Vending machine procedures. Is that the thing that's been fucking freaking out? Hang on. Yep. Uh, none known. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. A vending machine, it's front covered in a faux wood panel, coin operated buttons for selecting food products. 
The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Ooh! Attempts to cause the item to create a living blank have consistently failed. Damn it! The item was con discovered in a nursing home in blank Alberta. Hey, that's in Canada. After a resident named Murray Muriel called local news station about a magic vending machine, the news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposely stocking the machine with distinctive food objects and objects to as a way to raise resident spirits. The bureau response team encouraged the story while confiscating the item. Also, are you Terran versus Zerg? Huh? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> you enjoyed Alberta, congrats. Glad somebody did. Dang it, read the fucking Grab the note. There's clearly a document here. There you go. Door appearance. Oops. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door features a spiral-shaped marking design designated door blank, similar to the other doors. It is locked and cannot be forced open. Alswig, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AW, refer to AW35, and the former wife of missing author Alan Wake, a suspected para-utilitarian, and blank, contacted agents Shaw and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview for a full transcript and referred to file blank, blank, blank. On blank, 2017, the excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later that same day. Conclusion. Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE-35 is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. From StarCraft 2, that means Terran versus Zorg, which is two factions. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. I understand no things. Eh. Night Spring screenplay, page one. No, this screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Spring television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Episode Over the Threshold, Darkly, by Alan Wake. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? We're in a secret lab. The lar uh, large sign on the wall reads, The Federal Bureau of Night Spring. Scientists. I've told you several times, Director. It isn't ready. It's ready when I say it's ready. Doctor? Uh, but the being beyond this portal, we have no control over it. This is too... Wait. Wait. Did Alan Wake create the Federal Bureau, Bureau of Control? <laughs> By writing a screenplay? No. Maybe it was... It might have predated typewriter which is implied to be the reason that things that he writes happen I want a floodlight where did we throw a floodlight to dang it I threw away our floodlight so I was like no more plants um but I miss it now I understand many things. I understand some things. I 
How about this? Does this help? It does not help. I guess because I'm not shining it on myself, but whatever. <sighs> I suppose I understand many things. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, mister. Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night, with a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Yeah. Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I should have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast <laughs> would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. Oh no, it's too real. Okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. The kid doesn't know shit. I don't even want to use a stupid floodlight anyway. Oh wait, this is working? I for some reason thought I was going to have to power this. Whoops. Well, here we go. Uh -oh. oh. Shit. Good. Now what? Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? Come on, elevator. Time to go. I don't like it. So you don't like the light. What is that? I really hate it. Floodlight isn't it? That isn't it. I kind of wish you couldn't see what it looked like even uh, when the light was shined on it. Because its shadowy form with that silhouette really added to the mystique. I must say. Yeah, I don't like that I can see it now. It, be, it loses all its mystery. Like it 
doesn't like it. I'm immediately wary if something doesn't like light. That's fair. <gasps> Hartman background. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned an operated recovery center in blank, Washington, focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Oh, Hartman is from um, Alan Wake. Okay. I remember now that facility. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which has earned him a class two paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through artistic medium, see file blank. Investigations has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone after being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation. He displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released blank months later after having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. It could be a demon that feeds on your regrets. We love it. Ah. <sighs> Like Butch Hartman? I mean, the same last name. Yeah, sure. Arcade machines. Shoom. 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 Mm. Whatever. I need I need to know now. Missions? Is it just play shroom? Find and interact with the arcade machine altered item. Oh. Oh man. Okay, I was like, man, is this filter going to stay on? The goal of crowd control is to survive. Good luck. Thanks. Driving as a horde of fists. Okay. Whoops. Fucking waster. Wasted that. Waster. Ow. Whoa. Hey. Who the fuck? Excuse you. What? That was a really dumb move. Fucking heel ball. I hate the heel ball. Thanks for redeeming the weed number. I don't know what to give you. You got the weed number. That means you win. Oh, I hate it. Lord bejesus. Oh, 
Ow! Whoa! Hey! Can you stop that, please? Sorry, the Twitch app is poopy sometimes. I don't have much... I don't have much control over that one. Mr. Twitch doesn't like to listen to me when I complain about his application. He goes, Mr. Inviso Guy, we respect you greatly. We love the work that you do here on twitch.tv slash Inviso Guy, but... You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and therefore, your input is worthless. <laughs> Just fix Twitch. I can't. It's inherently busted. Stupid thing. And this is a long survival mode. Hey, Zach. Is something gonna attack me or should I? Fucking healing ball. I hate it so much. I wish I could convey to you how much I hate healing ball. Which is worse, ball of butterflies or healing ball? Ow! thousand percent worse than healing ball I don't know about a thousand percent worse ow eat couch <clears throat> you like healing ball because you make them friend that had never occurred to me I literally never thought. Yeah, you can deflect the ball of butterflies. You can do a lot of things to the ball of butterflies. You can only do so much to healing ball. And healing ball also teleports away from you. At least ball of butterflies is stationary. 
Imagine a healing ball of butterflies where it heals enemies around it. Oh my god. It'd be unstoppable. Maybe now is a good time for a fucking charge. Seems like it. Yeah, but I still hold the big ball of butterflies is stationary. At the very least. I asked this question and I already clearly had the answer for myself. I dislike the healing ball more, personally. get a way to deflect in Hades, I say, as someone who's never played Hades. Yeah, but you, we have played Hades together, so that counts. Your input is valued when I play Hades. Oh my god. Whoops, I killed my only friend. Hmm. played Hades in a while? Me neither. I need some fucking healing elements. Like water. In Avatar, the last airbender. It heals. Has backseated Hades. There you go. You'll be a game you'll be a professional gamer in no time, Linda. That resume, no one can deny your prowess. Friend, oh, I keep killing friends. This always happens. They're like, I'll be there for you, and then they die. And I'm like, oh. Hey, librarian. Almost done with this horde mode. No. I don't want any flying enemies, no thank you.
Dang it. That's the only enemy that I didn't want you to blow up at. Was the other blowing up floating enemy. Invisit was good artist. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know where y'all are getting your information from. Invisit was good artist. Damn it. Guess I'm a good artist. The, the channel point redemption said so. And I have to listen to it. It is the rules. Can you do something, sir? And or madam? Can you generalize? That would be swell. I did it, I guess. Crowd control. Shoom. Shoom. This is a good artist and a good gamer and are valid. Hmm. Control is the name of the game. Oh! <gasps> You've discovered the secret. <laughs> now you must be killed. You know too much. That wasn't super worth my time. What did we get? Uh, evade cost after weapon kills. Eh. Eh. Tomb 2 is an altered item that allows Jesse to revisit unique enemies he's encountered before and to take another trip. Tomb 2. No, thank you. I'm good right now. Tomb 2 another time. I get it. Like, crowd control. Like, the add-on that lets you guys pay for doing things in a game. That shit seems hard to implement, though. I really wish there was a crowd control um, variant that uh, allowed you to use channel points. This super seems like it's a thing. Come on now. Viddy game. You think Jessie has ever said poggers? Probably not. I don't think she would be opposed to saying it. She seems just Jesus, goofy enough. Scare me like that, Winston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Thanks, Langston. Oh shit. Langston, it's me, Jessie. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Boy, a flare gun? Oh, Christmas lights. Mm. You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Langston. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Thanks, uh, Langston. Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk <laughs> to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different. I'm crazy for wanting to work with all these items. Dang it. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? 
I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't want to brag. <laughs> right. Goddamn. Yes, my best host. I believe he was. This is a great bit. I also thought it was a good bit. Oh, Evan just got out of a two-hour meeting and anyway, also got an email during the meeting that I've been fully approved still, for a new apartment. Yo, nice! People are making it so personal. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals. Or is this, is this the whole DLC? Is it just Langston fucking just rambling on the intercoms? We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes... Ooh, let's try charge. Uh, search for... Okay. It feels like it's every department for the balls, like it's a race, and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, the darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. You my favorite gun. I like the way it looks. Aesthetically. That's not... That's not saying a whole lot. Attack the darkness. Going over the income for certain parts, they just get let the VC <laughs> voice chat, or voice, uh... VC, VC... Voice actor, voice character, voice... Voice chat go on for a while. I think one of the characters wrapped themselves in Christmas lights. That seems correct. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, the producer. I think he did that. When you meet back up with the producer and he like kind of realizes what's going on, you find him and he's just wrapped in Christmas lights. I attack the dog. Voice actor, you're good. I knew what you meant, so you're good. This VC translated in my head to voice chat. Take this. Oh no, it doesn't work like it does in Alan Wake. Throw it at his head. No, I almost died for that bit. Opinion of Winter Express game mode? Uh, I don't hate it. You know, uh, I thought it was pretty fun, uh, to be honest. I'm interested to play it uh, more and see what different characters that I like get different loadouts and stuff. Uh, when I was playing it as a Wraith and she had the flatline, I was having a lot of fun. Um, we were having a little bit of trouble the first time because, uh, I mean, the only time we played it uh, just because we didn't really realize what we were doing. Um, and I've literally only played it the one time, so I can't speak to it super, uh, thoroughly, but I liked it. Then Caustic happened. Yeah, Caustic feels like they should be banned or something in that mode. I, d I don't know. Caustic just is allowed to have too many traps too quickly and have too many out at the same time, in my opinion. It feels kind of... 
in general, like, quite a lot, you know? Oh. Hold up. Come to me. My light source. My baby. not ominous could have stopped descendants caustic should just be banned. <laughs> be banned yeah caustic caustic and gibby is just like absurd it's clearly a meta huh. Huh. excuse me all right i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna get water and use the bathroom y'all stay tuned i'm gonna put on some music and uh if you're sub you can just hang out spend some nice christmas emotes and listen to some music <laughs> if bleh, if you're not Sub, you'll have to be crushed under the boot of uh, corporate America or whatever country you currently live in. Anyway, be right back. <clears throat> Viz deserves bits. Excuse. Rude. But also very kind. Thank you. Arcade cabinet procedures. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Items are a pair of arcade cabinets uh, originally designed for the game Shoom and Shoom 2, uh, Kugel's Revenge. The games were manufactured by Bonco Entertainment, now out of business despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s. No other Shoom cabinets have been found by our investigators. Um, just a gen. Heck... Oh my god, that is a long time. Jen, thank you for subscribing. You're 21 months. That's almost two years. Heck. I also heard that length thing is a myth. Eh. Eh. Jen, thank you so much. I appreciate the continued support. You sent me a nice message with Plasma while you were away. I saw it. Oh, Jackie said, this is nice and chill and good streamer, a good streamer, wait, hang on, it's cut off, streamer, artist, friends, gamer, and ghost boy. Thank you, Jackie, that's too kind. Anyway, let's continue playing the video game, shall we? Love the holiday emotes, by the way, thank you. I'm glad. We didn't finish reading that, did we? Um, both items were purchased from a closing arcade in Blank, Michigan, as a part of the program to improve employee well-being through recreation. The program was canceled before any game machines were dispersed through the oldest house, but not before these altered items were discovered. Games in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together. A uh, codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items, see Research Specialist Pope's paper titled The Parasensitivity of Sequels for more information. However... After proving the item's altered status, the investigation staff insisted on keeping them, claiming they are important for sector morale. To date, numerous petitions have been filed by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. <gasps> you made some instant noodles? Fuck. I do want some, actually. I could go for some instant noodles. Okay. Oh. Oh! Well. I threw a floodlight down here. Did that help at all? Shit. It doesn't look like it helped at all, guys. Spicy nudes. Love getting some spicy nudes. Big fan. Eh. Meh. Okay. For some reason, I thought that was going to hurt me. 
It seemed like the type of thing that was pretty. Where'd my other floodlight go? Is that it on the ground? That is it. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh. Did it break? Huh. Okay then. Interesting. Unfortunate, but interesting. thing plugged into the thing in order to do the thing, so I guess I'll move this thing here, and then I suppose move this in such a way that it'll shine a light on that thing. Spicy nudes are great, big fan, agree. Finally, something we can agree on. Wait, does it just go? It just goes until you decide to stop it, I guess. Is that close enough? Yes. What does this do? Opens that. I need, whoops. Ow. No! Wait, what the fuck? It won't let me use another cube! It won't let me take this cube because I hit it on the progression thing! I don't like that. Because we never agree on anything, right? Always at odds. <sighs> well, that's irritating. I'm not allowed to rip the cube off of here because I technically enabled the progression path. That sucks. That sucks. You're not a fan of udon noodles? Can somebody define udon noodles for me? I forget what those are. Are they, what do they, what, what do they got going on? Oh wait, can I bring this in here now? No problem. Okay, there was something about that black goopy part of the elevator that was just like, no, we break lights. Them thick, juicy boy noodles. <laughs> we love us some boy noodles. Or specifically some thick, juicy boy noodles. I gotta drop in from above. I'll try to open that door though. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, udon is a type of thick wheat flour noodle frequently used in Japan, Japanese cuisine. They th taste thick and weedy. Thick boy noodles. We love a juicy, thick boy noodle. Oh. Escape the darkened corridor. Oh, there's the there's the lad. Hartman, I guess.
that. I like how Jessie cannot be bothered to fucking touch it with her hand. She does has to have to psychically pull that lever. Regularly, they're, they're okay frying up leftovers the day after is god tier. Hmm. Yaki Udon is amazing. I like big nudes, but udon are like dense. Hmm. Never tried making uh udon. Never thought to. Hmm. Frying. Oh. Hmm. You wouldn't touch things. Why are we touching things? I seem to have missed something. I'm sorry. I'm a really bad streamer, boy. We can't read chat good. And then frequently loses the thread. Or in this case, the noodle. Oh. I don't know why. my It left my brain that this character's name is Jesse. It was just gone. I thought we were talking about some person that had been mentioned in chat. And I was like, what? Huh? I don't understand. Who is Jesse? He was a streamer boy. She said, see you later, boy. Hmm. What rhymes with later, boy? Gator boy, I guess. What line rhymes with streamer boy? He was a streamer boy. She said... Mm, I got nothing. Now, fight each other for my... Up! Oh! Never mind. I regret it. Whoop! Thank you for the follow. Can me hikey? Let me know if I hacked that up. The pronunciation way up. Near here. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hope you are doing just just swell today. said don't date gamer boy the boy part is not the part that we need to rhyme it's, it's the streamer part i was doing well when you see some control getting played i guess you're into control it's a good game and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly, dirt arrange you. Why are you here? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes many cauterizing loops through and about. Wind and Wendy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes, 
You know what? <laughs> Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. <laughs> what? Spider time. I'm a lemur boy. You're banned from the zoo. Why are you here? You got a heal ball. Stop screaming. He was a streamer boy. She said I'm a streamer boy. There you go. We did it. What does that mean? Oh, you know. You know what it means. You know. Suggestive eyebrow movement. Well, yeah. She's a screamer boy. She just wants him to know before, like, get down. That it's gonna be real loud. Can we not... said it is someone who thought I wasn't enjoying myself because I didn't scream like he was trying to murder me. Yeah. Porn gives a lot of people a really warped sense of what sex is supposed to be like. Or if you don't scream, how do people know that you're really like me? Even if you're just, like, intentionally screaming, you have to scream to let him know that he's a big, strong man. Otherwise, how will his fragile masculinity survive the encounter? <laughs> oh, fuck. Can we don't calm down with the truth bombs? Uh, no. Never. Life lessons on stream. You're silent but deadly. Like, like a fart? Like in the fart way? Cool. I honestly don't like mainstream porn because it's too focused on male fantasy. Yeah, I super get that. There's a there's a category for that. There's a lot of categories for that actually. But I figure you probably know that. There's a listen. It's the internet. There's a lot of stuff out there for everyone. Like, fret not. Thou shall not go hungry. Sex for many people is like fairly quiet. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> I would not know. Even lesbian porn seems like it was made to appeal to men. 100%. I super get that. Oh man. 
man, weird, that painting must have just fallen down for some reason. What's up with that? So weird. Okay. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. Looks like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't dead. mixing well with the his corruption. Strangers. Lake did Always. call him the third thing. Never. Never. Always. Never, never. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Everyone points usually home stranger. and independent creator stuff. Yeah, hundred percent. Strange. Uh. But like not general Strange male like fantasy, but like hyper yeah, hundred percent. Super super good. There it. is no light. I'd like some gray when ace romantic porn POV. She got you flowers and she's holding your hand. Oh man. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your cock. <laughs> the dream. Every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you <laughs> have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you. And continues to quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Thanks, Langston. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree with what Tosa saying. Also, sex is hell overrated. It's fun, but man, does growing up lead you to believe it's the best thing ever? I definitely. Uh, there's this frustrating. Um cultural value that like sex is meant to be this like life-changing moment in your in your uh in your life um like it's going to define who you are and especially like through high school and stuff and potentially college like a chain letter <laughs> i remember these mom used to say they were evil hmm. better do what it says oh we don't want to get cursed Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no, the spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you'll be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter and the spooky man ate her cat. Terrence in Greenstone did not send the letter and the spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter and now his wife eats dinner alone. Linda did send more letters. 30 letters in total so far. And look at her now. She owns three cars. She has all her fingers. She speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurrah. Hurry. Linda, do you do you have three cars? And all your fingers? I had no idea. Yeah, sex is real warped. You know. Media fucks it Just up. Just in case. For everyone on this photocopy around here. <clears throat> shaded Hartman. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive at the, by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A 10, aka the Shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by or produces a blank darkness. That makes visual observation difficult. This blank also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. Hmm. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains intact to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the blank AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. The experiment has yielded no results thus far. In your reference time, if, uh, my friend's time, it was with a friend, and she had sex before, and neither of us ended up finishing, but it was fun, and we ate Pan Express. <sighs> That just sounds really nice. Had to leave and listen to Skater Boy. POV, she's taking interest in your day at work and wants to play co-op game with you. Oh my god. I access for intimacy with someone I care about. I can finish on my own. 
Fair play. POV, she gives you a hair tie. POV, she uh, holds your hair back when you're puking in the toilet. Not that that's something that's ever happened to me. Wait, what? What are we on? This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. Uh oh. It's an honor, Director. Compliments your stuffed animals. Uh -huh. Night Spring screenplay page three. The director steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. Uh, you're mine now, creature. I'll return you to my facility and control your power. Sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientists look on and does nothing, like the coward he is. Entity subtitled. I am not the one being examined. I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. Once His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Sir, sir, we have to escape. We cannot. They are in control now. I got what I wanted. Okay. Thanks, Alan Blake. Ah, fuck. Well, this is where we live now. I don't care about it, uh, but I think my parents sold them all. Oh no! Help. Whoop, whoop, where am I? Guys, stop it. I'm having feelings when I'm... S now that I'm, I'm... having feelings in the middle of stream. That's not allowed. I have to be a perfectly stoic entertainment machine. For the entirety of stream. No feelings allowed. Gray Ace Horn. What does Gray Ace mean, if I may be so bold as to ask? I thought it was a monochrome thing you meant. Like, I thought it was literal. But I do not think I know what it means. I was not prepared to feel things during this stream, right? I agree. <sighs> I just like to, I don't know, be physically close to somebody sometime. That'd be neat. What a novel idea in this year of our Lord 2020. There was something that I felt like I needed to do back here, right? Right? Oh, I need to find a photocopy machine. Grace means you're mostly asexual, but you can experience sexual attraction usually only to people you're emotionally attracted to. Uh, isn't that demisexual? No, sorry. No, 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 no. Never mind. Part of that falls under demisexual, but I see what you're saying about the ace part.
Hmm. I guess I just live down here now. Grace is just ace, but not quite at the extreme end of the spectrum. Ye. You learned things. Congrats. Yeah, learning... Um, learning something that you heavily identify with can be really... Um, nice. I'm still not sure really where I fall. I, I need to figure it out because... I don't know. I haven't had enough... in-field... Uh, on the field experience to like really rule a lot of things out you know so to speak so it's really hard to say i'd look into specifics of it i think gray is just kind of an umbrella of a few things there's a lot like it's it's hard to nail down exactly how any one person feels and works with like one term the fact of the matter is, it's like, there's a lot of things that, uh, kind of branch out into other things, and, like, don't always cover everybody, or perfectly describe you, or if you will, like, it's a whole thing. In general, sexual identity and how you feel is a whole thing. Oh, shit. Are we gonna... Are we on the moon? Fra Mauro A W E. Dang it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why are you shooting red missiles? Stop that. What have you gotta say? From Mauro summary, a paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Fra Mauro highlands of the moon. 32 hours after the return of Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. Blank, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined an entity and carried out interviews with NASA's staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. An altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon the arrival of Mr. Arrival. Mr. Blank called to clarify the matter though tension remained high bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with our uh, other federal agencies i think it's important to remember that even if you don't check all the boxes you are still valid and everyone experiences things differently 100 percent what you said we got aliens Morning, chat. Your girl just came in from a stats test. I have an offer for an interview, but the job is full-time and $4 less than my previous job, but I'll go regardless, so maybe they'll consider me for another position. Oh, no! Well, I hope that it works out. I mean... That must be that thing that was just kind of speaking and saying nonsense words. <gasps> like, the cadence felt like the rhythm of language. There's a retweet button on this button. Um, the cadence felt like language and like sentence structures, but it also felt like it was trying to... Um, Oh, I see. Uh, imitate human speech just with, like, nonsense that didn't make sense in the right context. Oh, where are you going? No light. I need you. Well, time to die. Oh, I'm fucked.
Well, can't get that health back. We could go that way. We could go that way. Well, fuck. Where'd it go? Okay. Cool. We did we ever find out anything about Ati? No. He's just kind of very mysterious. Has the DLC been worth it so far? Uh I mean If you buy it separately, I'm gonna say maybe not, depending on how much you enjoyed the control base game. It's just more. It's just more, and it's more interesting stuff. Um, it's super, super gonna depend on how you feel about the game. Um, your mileage may vary, basically. I just kind of throw that over there. Oh, fuck. Don't like it. Someone in my class isn't muted and it sounds like they're inside an aquarium. Great. I need to prioritize transferring my GI bill, but my brain has been like, it may be rejected, so don't even try. Uh, what is the DLC you purchased for any game that you most regret? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, for sure. Unquestionably. IT's on vacation. Yep. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3, without question. The worst DLC I've ever paid for. The value to uh, enjoyment proposition was very little. If you enjoyed it, that's super valid. But Romero supplement. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of English language makes any meaningful communication with it impossible. Interview material can be found at blank. Um, hey, Caleb. Remind ye. Hey, ye Chan. <laughs> hmm? Wait, why are we apologizing? Uh, its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility seat, EMU spacesuit. Oh, that's cool! Uh, used by NASA astronauts, the same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic EMU taken from one of the NASA astronauts, though the suit does not bear anywhere his name, or one materialized through blank conversion or possibly blank corpor corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry. The EMU is entirely hollow, and pieces can be removed though this seems to agitate the end of the x-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown blank shaped outlines existing within the suit for safety reasons the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered i sure hope we meet that person thing i saying i can't think of dlc i regret because i'm so frugal but then i remembered one uh i've said once and i'll say it again the kingdom hearts fantasy is so fascinating to me remind more like i've changed my mind because no thank you <laughs> 
Uh, I bought a bundle for Mortal Kombat on sale because my wife said she'd play it with me and she immediately hated it. Steam let me refund the game, but not the DLC it came with in the bundle. I had fun, but also it wasn't worth full price. It was more just that it was $30 than it was that I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, literally, I don't know. It just, it just wasn't, like, it wasn't anything, you know? You could have watched that on YouTube and gotten the exact same experience for the most part. But yeah, I did not enjoy the DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3 even, like, a little bit. I think my thumbnail that I made for it really holds up, which was like a very skeptical, like Sora going, eh, I don't know about this. And then it turned out to be very, um, incredibly valid. Do we count free updates as DLC? Uh, I do, yes, because Shovel Knight, uh, Shovel Knight exists. And those DLCs are amazing. And technically free. A lot of people don't like the combat of Kingdom Hearts 3. The combat is fine. It's just very easy. And float. Oh, God. Forgot that's where it goes. Great. Thank you. Trouble Knight DLC is the best. Yes, I agree. That said, I haven't finished King of Cards. Uh, or played very much of uh, Shovel Knight Showdown. Um, this do? I have no idea what this did. Oh, I see. No. No. Don't evil laugh. Fuck you. You love it when lights don't work at work. Oh, man. Relatable. You just want to play Melody of Memory, but money? Yeah. Melody of Memory does not look up my alley. Personally. Mortal Kombat is it looks visually cool to a horror fan, but my wife is a baby. When she gets beat in a game, she was furious with me the only time we played Mario Party. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that. Alright, time to get fucked. Murder. Bye. Man, your pants still fit. That is impressive. There. One less place for him to hide. Gerbil. What? Speak with the voice on the cell intercom. <gasps> oh, fuck. Is this the Astro, Astro Man? Astro Boy? He hulked. He did. We're buying the designer's cut for Borderlands 3. It should have been free. The whole game should have been free. Sorry. I haven't played Borderlands 3. I don't know anything about it. Flak is cool. That's what I know about Borderlands 3. Fuck. I, I want that floodlight really badly. Nice. Oh, well, whatever. All right, Ati. Was this what you had in mind? No spookums. What the frick? Did my fall just die? It did. Spooky.
if you don't like rhythm games. I don't dislike rhythm games. It just doesn't seem like enough of a Kingdom Hearts game to me. I actually refuse to buy Borderlands 3 because it's more of Borderlands 2 and Randy Pitchford. Yep. Yes. The, the DLC ropes in with Alan Wake. It do. No! Don't invisible cry. This is when I couldn't marry Serena in the Skyrim Dawnguard DLC. Mm -hmm. Probably because you played it with your brother. I just think the Borderlands humor in the game, from what I played of the old ones, and I played them when they originally came out and I liked them a lot. Um, I don't like. I don't think it holds up very well. What if we do this? Is that anything? Is this anything? <clears throat> Are you gonna bounce to avoid spoils? Okay. Fuck, that's clearly breakable. Our cracks and shit. Hmm. Sometimes girls don't want to get married. That's true. The one good thing about Borderlands 2 is Handsome Jack was a superb villain. Hmm. If you want really good Borderlands, uh, go play Borderlands. Uh. Oh my god. Tales from the Borderlands. Tales from the Borderlands was fucking great. That said, hey, guess who didn't finish it? It's me. I didn't finish it. Let it have episode four. Did not finish Tales. Uh, it's good. From what I played of it, I really, really enjoyed it. It was funny Borderlands writing that was uh, recent enough that it wasn't like problematically irritating. Um, and it was good and surprisingly serious at a certain point. Where was that hole in the ceiling that we dropped through? Can I get back to it? No, that looks pretty inaccessible, actually. It's kind of one way ish. Eh, it's so close. I bet if I stacked some shit, I could get up there. Hell yeah. Look at me go. So then this cut should have been free and then it should have been $15. Specifically the ability to skip straight past the beginning of the game should be just in it. Yeah. I agree with that in terms of um, fucking Destiny 2. The original base game, how you couldn't skip past the intro sequence, which is really cool the first time. Uh, but when you want to roll uh, two other characters, Holy fuck. You are real tired of it. Where's the cell it was kept in? I wanna know where the cell is. Speak with the voice on the cell intercom. It's the locky bit. Hang on. We're up here now.
because I wanted to set up betraying the boss to help your friend, but it didn't seem to be an option. I just got uninvested. Let's see. I don't know. I like the characters well enough. Like the thing people were hiding in in the early game? Oh. I don't see one. Oh, I see it. Got it. Got it. Thank you, Val. Yes, yes, me? Worry who? See the seat. Hello? Hello. Great about us today. Long roads and no hardly. You are a bygone? Uh, sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back in front. And <laughs> Gerbil took the top head. Not being pressed for that. Lady going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head. The head for tales. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. I'll... Uh... I'll take a look. So... Want something to read or a jar? <laughs> Let's just see what we can find. <laughs> I really like the dialogue of that alien entity. It's really good. What a fun, weird fucking thing. The cadence of the speech is so, like, clearly, like, fine, but the words are not. And it's just really interesting. I like it. This could be what it wants. It wants food? Let's give it a shot. It's good and kind of creepy? Yeah. No, no. Jars. A head. Scotch and peppers? Head. Okay, that wasn't right. Let's Ed. try something else. Like that song by a non-English speaker that sounds like English, but it's just noises? Ooh, I don't think I've heard that one. Oh, jar. No wait. Ed <gasps> doesn't want this stuffed Feel animal. Like this. It wants head. I mean, like same. Probably. Head. A S B E. Head. Nope. Let's keep trying. <laughs> Maybe this will do the trick? ASBE. Yeah, you know, head. Bruce, you ping pong ahead. Yes, that wasn't it either. Huh. We're trying our best. This might do it. Maybe. <clears throat> you ping pong. Oh, I am a ping pong. Lady, you are school and dirt for losing. Keep that up and I won't help you anymore. Yeah, that was rude. What the fuck? Don't call me a school and loose for dirting. That's fucking rude. Does it just want to be fucking let out? It probably wants to be let out. But it seems like that probably isn't an option. You want the American flag. God bless us. I get the impression the things that it wants are only going to be in these mobile labs. Where you can actually, like, see things. But there was only that one thing in that other lab. Hmm. There 
something on the floor in one of them, I think. Oh yeah, there is. Let's see if this will do it. I don't know if this will do it. I'm ready to be done with this. Mm, okay, that feels like this is the final item. Hurry, clocks, lady. The head, 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 head. No snacks. Head is top of all up and down. At the top, the top head. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? Head is in a body's head? Where the hell am I gonna find that? Does it want How that? Did lose it? Does it want that weird skeleton that we saw early in the game? Maybe. Maybe that's a thing. Is it looking for its helmet? Hmm. It's in a suit and it speaks gibberish, and it came from the moon. Or it it joined the astronauts on re-entry. Also, we need to get a fucking floodlight to get rid of that. Hmm. Wait, does that mean that I have to bring a floodlight like all the way around? Because that's not ideal. Yeah, the astronauts were like, yeah, there was four people on this mission. And everyone else was like, no, no, there weren't. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. It's it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting paranatural entity. I'm quite fond of it, actually. Especially because it's a fucking astronaut suit. Nope, if I bring a full day through here, it'll break, I think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought you guys were terrible. We just thought you were a bunch of assholes. But this one, is this gonna work? Mm. If you want help finding the head, let me know. It is not obvious. Well, it's marked on our map. Sector, head office. It wants the head office. It wants the entire office. Can I take that? I want it. Is. How are you? I am good. We are just looking around for a flood lamp and a head. You just realized the joke? Mm. And yeah, it marks it on your map. And also head office, so. Head. Okay, so this will break, won't it? Nope, I'm just, I'm, nope, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. Hey, Sierra. How is it going? It didn't mark that area on my map. Uh, it probably did. It's just like, it's really far down there and like kind of super separate from this entire map. So you might not have noticed it, which I super get. Or maybe they updated it to be a little bit more clear. That's, that wouldn't be super surprising. <sighs> I don't trust vending machines anymore. What if we fast travel to head office? Okay. Find the head. Doing good drinking some coffee and about to feed some kitties. 
that are napping on my patio. Oh. I want to see. They have destroyed my planter. Oh no! Rest in peace, plants. Oh my god, stop! I'm dead. Where'd he go? Oh, you piece of shit. But it's okay, because you're cute. What I've learned over the course of my life is that if you're cute enough, you can get away with just about anything. <gasps> They're sleeping in the planter now? It is their bed? Sarah, you have to take pictures. You have to. The law requires it. I hate being allergic to cats. Me too. I hate being allergic to the most common house pets that exist in the world. And then... Dogs act like you're an asshole and get all pouty when you don't pet them because they realize that you're ignoring them. And they're so used to literally every... Oh, it literally wants to head. A helmet. For a head. Is that what the prisoner meant? I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, Sarah, we've met an, an entity that is just uh, an astronaut suit and doesn't speak English good. Very good. You were right, you did it. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm not sure that we'll actually get to see it. I hope we do. Ahead, River Chicken Station. <laughs> Tastier. Press any button. Press any button. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. Hail a lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Brooklyn lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. Teddy's long around. But hold out synapiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well. Sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we have this guy. I think. <laughs> Projectile speed plus 500%? Jesus. Can I just... Best we leave it locked up, though. No idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Linda, your English is great. You shush. A photo is through a window screen, so it looks bad, but here's the bundle. <gasps> Kittens! Oh my goodness. Kittens! Are they just wild cats? And I didn't see the dark, the darker one. There's a dark one right there. Kittens. Thank you for sharing. This was very important. Linda's English is very, 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 very good. You need to give yourself more credit, Linda. Your English has gotten quite... Like, considerably better since I've known you. Like, noticeably better. And you're you're great at speaking English. Uh, nope. We're not gonna go that way. Uh, missions. Eliminate the darkness. Attack the darkness. Nope. Mm, what other emissions do we have? Eradicate the mold. Nope, that's over there. And then the other one is plants. Okay. We do need to shine lights on plants in the AWE loading bay. Yeah. 
Is English not your native language? English is not her native language. No. Linda is from Finland and speaks Finnish and Swedish. And English, obviously. What? Hmm. Okay. Plants. Where do they live? And how can we make them happy? There we go. It's gotten kind of chilly out now, though, so I'm considering getting a little shelter for them. Aww! Take care of kittens. You want to catch the mom at some point so I can at least get her spayed so we don't get more stray babies? Aww. Are these just wild cats that, like, hang out? Here's some sunshine to brighten your day. It's artificial, though. Hmm. How does that work? And that's the last one. I should appoint someone to take care of these guys. Supervisor of Houseplant Wellbeing. <sighs> Mom's a big blob in there. Yee. A cardboard box with a towel or some old t-shirts. At the bottom will probably work well. On YouTube video that I speak annoyingly slow, and of course, it's stuck at the back of my mind. Well, that person's stupid! And they probably don't even speak more than one language, so they're a piece of shit ass fuck. And their opinion is invalid. Also, if the first inter interaction you have with a person is a mean one, they're all subsequent or information that they convey during that interaction or further interactions are moot. You're allowed to just say, no, no, I've decided you don't count. Apparently straw is very good for keeping their body heat and easy to change out if it gets dirty. True. Yeah, that was ages ago too. Yeah, Linda. Like, I don't know. I know that sticks in your head and I can't really like Make that go away, but know that your English is great. Hmm. You don't speak any one line about accents in English, which means they know more than one language. Yeah, it, it irritates the shit out of me when people complain about somebody's accent or that like they're not speaking English like super fluently like oh they're bad at English it's like dog they understand you they convey information to you you're just not listening good <clears throat> shut the fuck up Kevin god yeah Kevin we see you Kevin Sorry if there's any Kevins in the chat. But if you're the if you're a Kevin in particular who was mean to Linda, then fuck you. I'm not sorry. Didn't I just see like a huge thing that was full of a bunch of power cubes? Oh, we're fighting these guys now. Fucking healing ball.
This certainly feels familiar. Oh, I get it. Like that one time that we had to copy stuff. Mail three copies of the chain letter. How? How? I guess I have to do that in the overworld? Linda's accent is very good. Anybody who doesn't agree can eat my entire asshole. But not if they like doing that, in which case they can't do that, and I will refuse. <laughs> they need that for pooping. Eh, I could live without it. She was hogging it all, so I'm a dip. I'm sorry, Zahaley. Thanks for hanging. I appreciate it. Um, I think we're actually gonna wrap up here. Sorry for the kind of short stream. Um, but I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all hanging out and enjoying some control with me. I hope you guys like the new Cribbis emotes. Um, they're pretty good. I guess I kind of did them in a little bit of a hurry because it was suddenly December. Whoops. Um, but yeah, y'all are great. All of your accents are great. Even people who say, I don't have an accent. I will fight you. I'll fight you. Um, thanks so much for hanging out. Stay tuned though, uh, in the discord and the Twitters, cause I may go live again today later. Uh, depending on if, uh, Dan is up for it, we plan on playing some co-op Donkey Kong Country. Just kind of for fun. And it'll just kind of be a laid-back Donkey Kong Country stream. We've been meaning to do it for forever. Ah, <sighs> but yeah. Uh, let's raid a person. Uh, I'm going to need you guys to raid, uh, just say Cloaca a lot. In capital letters. Because that seems to be, uh, Greg's go to uh raid message and so we're gonna we're gonna flip the script and we're gonna go in there and we're gonna say cloaca a lot anyway thank you guys so much for hanging really appreciate it i hope you all had fun i'll see you in the next one goodbye